Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here and another Linux tutorial. Hopefully you saw my review of Ubuntu Mate and as promised I am going to tweak my desktop appearance, play around with the panels, do a little theming, some icons, all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully for you new users out there this will help you out a bit and uh, maybe give you some ideas on, on themes and whatnot. So anyway, um, my favorite place to go looking for themes is at Gnome Look, and you can come here, and you know you can search by keyword, by category, however you want to find it. Um, now I've already picked out a theme, actually both theme, uh, a regular theme and an icon theme that I liked. I found this Ubuntu Dusk, and and I think it's kind of. Uh, kind of unique looking so I was, I was really liking the look of that so we're gonna download that one so let's just click the download link and now a lot of the download links actually link to another page and and part of that is is a lot of the stuff on gnome look it might be linked to say the developers Dropbox or or, or uh, maybe deviant art that kind of thing so but anyway we'll come here and click the download now button and uh, download dust click the save button and it looks like we are downloaded so we'll move that over there <clears throat> let's open up our file manager and I want to show the hidden files. I also want the extra pane. And, and as they say, there's a method to the madness. So first, let's open up our downloads file. And you can see the dust uh, zipped up file right there. So we're going to extract it. So right click it. And we'll do an extract here. Double click there. OK, so there's the various dust themes and it's actually a couple of different similar themes so we're going to install all of them so let's go back over to here to our home folder and all of these files that have a dot in front of them those were the hidden files that we we just made appear and let's go down to the one that says themes open that up and we want to move all of these guys over into the themes file now you can do a copy and paste or my personal preference, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select each of those, do a right click, go down to copy to, and copy to other pane. Copies them right over. So now that we've got all those themes copied, let's come here to preferences, look and feel, appearance, and now you'll see those dust themes have appeared. So let's uh, let's take a look at what what we got here that's interesting look let's look at the burnt I think I like that one the best now you see you get this little uh, pop-up this theme will not look as attended because the required icon theme human is not installed that's okay because we're going to kind of customize this by adding our own theme, so um, and, and uh, or adding our own icon theme, so we'll kind of move on to that next. Let me get that out of the way then. So as far as icon themes goes, um, go to GNOME Look again, and you see here categories We've got icons and icon themes, and once again scroll do a keyword search however you want to find the, uh, the the icons that you like so quite a variety I already picked out the super flat remix I'm not sure how it's going to look with this uh, with this theme but you know we'll download it install it and, and we'll go from there so essentially it's going to be the same thing that we just did let's go and download save the file Let's open up our file manager 
hidden files again, extra pane, and it downloads Super Flat Mini Remix. Let's open it up. So do an extract here. Okay. And let's see. Yes, we do have a dot icons theme. Sometimes, uh, and this is on some Ubuntu-based distributions, you won't have a dot icons folder or a dot themes folder. Just make it yourself. Just you know, right-click, create folder, and call it you know dot themes or dot icons. get rid of this here but it's all they've already got it preset up for us so very nice let's just do a copy to other pane super flat remix is over there now let's open up our look and feel appearances again okay so got the dust set selected. I'm sure do I like that one better? It's a little lighter. Now yeah, they're pretty close. But anyway, we're going to customize it anyway. So we selected dust. Let's go to customize. And if you go to icons, here's where we can select our icons. There's the flat remix. So we went with that. Um, the window borders, I'm going to leave those the same. That would be interesting. Let's see what that looks like. No, nope, not my thing. Meta box, yeah. You can see you got tons and tons of options here. So you can, uh, you know. Tweak to your heart's content. You could do a high contrast like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's not bad. But I think I'll go back to the uh, to the regular dust. We'll stick with that. Colors. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that the same. But you can play around with the various colors of your theme same thing with the controls here um, of course we selected our icons and I'm just uh, do I want the other pointer now nah, this is fine so we we'll just stick with this close it up and uh, so let's look at what our icons look like you can see the what we got in the top bar right now but let's go and we'll open up our home folder and I don't know if those really match this theme I might go and find something different but at least it gives you the idea of you know how to install the the, the icon themes and the desktop themes so let's close all that up and we'll close this up yeah, we'll close all the tabs and uh, we'll set up our panels next. So let's do our panels now. Now the way I like my desktop setup is a single panel across the top. So to do that, let's get rid of this one. So just right click it and we'll go down to delete this panel and then go to the panel on the bottom, click a new panel that gives us a fresh canvas across the top let's go back to the bottom panel and we'll delete that panel all right so let's start adding stuff to this panel so let's first thing we're going to need is a menu so I'm going to go with I know we'll go with the advanced mate menu double click that and don't worry we'll um, we'll go and move stuff around in just a second here uh, I need a this is a laptop so I want a battery monitor and let's see need a clock frequency CPU frequency scaler I like having that 
Uh, let's see what we got here. And uh, show desktop, that is a nice uh, tool to have. If you're not familiar with the show desktop, basically what that does, you click that and it minimizes all the, your open windows. So that's nice to have. And shutdown button is good. Uh, trash, I usually don't need that. Um, you can see there's there's quite a variety of different uh, different tools that you can add here. Window list, switch between the open windows using buttons. We'll add that. And workspace switcher. I'm only going to use one workspace on here, so I really don't need to add that, but it is available if you would like to. Um, like I said, there's you know lots of different things here that you could add depending on how you like things set up. All right, let's move stuff around. So just come up to your different items, right click it, and go to move, and just move it to where you want it. I'm going to put the menu over there. Um, power button. I like that over on the other side. Um, calendar I like centered in the middle. So roughly there. And these things. We'll put that. Oh. That's pretty good. Okay, there's our battery monitor, so we'll move that over here as well. And the minimize. We'll put that right there. Our open windows. That's not what I wanted to do. Move. No. It's wanting to. There we go. I want that right next to the menu button. Okay. And, uh, oh, I'm missing a tray, system tray. So let's go to add to panel. I don't know, is that what it's called? No. Let me find it here. That's it, indicator applet. And uh, let's go and we'll right click it, move. I don't know, yeah, I'll put that right next to the power. Yeah, so we got that right there, frequency scaler right there battery monitor there and then the minimize button right there and um, for me that's about it as far as setting it up like I said I like it fairly simple um, but you know you can you saw there's all kinds of stuff that you could add um, one remaining thing we gotta get a different background so um, and I mean, there's plenty available that uh, are pre-installed, but let's go and download something. So let's go and open up Firefox. Let's do a space background. Images for space background, 19 by 1280. I like that one. 
So we'll go and right click it. Save the image. And I'm going to save it to my picture folder. And so now we can right click here, change desktop background. And we'll click add. And we'll go to here, go to our, we'll go find our pictures folder. And there it is. And, you know, this may not be set up the way you want it to, but, uh, you know, it gives you an idea of different things you can do and whatnot. And uh, uh, hopefully it stimulated the creative juices there. So go out and find some themes and, and some icons and uh, pick out a, a new desktop background. And, uh, you know, you can go from there. And on that note, that about finishes up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. And as always, I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.